Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're taste testing coffees from around the world. Of course guys, before we get into the video, you can always find me over on Instagram and TikTok where I make daily coffee recipe videos. If that's something you're interested in, you can find me right here. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you're thinking of doing so, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Ayrton's making me laugh. Let's taste test coffees from around the world. Alrighty guys, so I'm truly excited to be doing this video. I was supposed to shoot it maybe about a month ago and I'm finally getting into it. Today we are exploring three new Nespresso Original Line World Exploration Pods. Now I'm really excited to get into this because honestly my favorite pod by Nespresso is Buenos Aires Longo, which happens to be a world exploration. So I'm hoping that these three do not disappoint. Um, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna taste test all three of them we're gonna see which one I like the best and the winner part two of this video we are gonna make a traditional drink from that country let's get into it first up on the docket we're heading to South America continent of my birth where we're gonna taste test Rio de Janeiro alrighty guys so this is the Rio de Janeiro sleeve this is what it looks like kind of matches my window outside right all the greenery vibes but yeah rio de janeiro it is a single espresso shot which i'm really happy about a 1.35 ounce let's pop this one open and see what nespresso has to say Ooh, okay so this is rio of course, a beautiful thing as per usual. We would expect nothing less from Nespresso. Now guys, according to Nespresso, Rio de Janeiro Espresso is a 1.35 ounce espresso shot, as I mentioned. It has a nine intensity, so that's really nice. Uh, herbal and sandalwood notes. Uh, what else does Nespresso have to say? It says a pleasantly bitter and velvety textured cup with unexpected walnut. Was reminiscent of thyme and rosemary thyme and rosemary that's pretty cool those are two things that I love to cook with so I'm interested to see if it comes through with the pod uh, again intensity of nine purple and sandalwood notes oh can't forget Nespresso also says that it's nutty and balanced I think the nutty part is gonna be the walnut so excited to see if I get nutty walnut thyme and rosemary was it yeah rosemary Let's taste test. Next up guys, we're gonna get into Istanbul. We're heading over to Turkey. I have heard really great things about Turkish coffee and I've never tried it. I'm kind of hoping that Turkey wins this just because they have so many really cool traditional Turkish coffee drinks, but we'll see where this taste test takes us. Uh, let's see what Turkey looks like. So again, another beautiful thing. Uh, I just love the design of the Nespresso pods and the aesthetic that they put into it. But yeah, Turkey is also an Espresso pod, 1.35 ounce. According to Nespresso, it has an intensity of eight, ripe fruits and nutty notes. It says a cosmopolitan blend of both wild fruit and spice notes and a delicate hint of almond running through a velvety body. It also says that it's uh, fruity and complex, nutty and balanced. So I'm kind of excited to try this one because honestly, anything that has almond notes to it, I'm definitely with it. Let's taste test Istanbul. We're heading over to the city of lights we are going to taste test paris paris is also a 1.35 ounce so i'm kind of really loving that these are all uh espresso shots really concentrated because we are heading into iced coffee season and it is great to have all of the espressos that we can but let's open this up and see what it looks like of course another gorgeous one 
I introduce you to Paris. This reminds me a lot of Paris, actually. I've never been, um, but just the print of it, kind of like a black and white tile, very Parisian. Um, but let's see what Nespresso has to say. Now, guys, according to Nespresso, um, Paris Espresso is cereal and citrus, so that's quite interesting already. I really do love citrus notes, and I'm interested to see how it will pair back to the citrus. It says this Parisian cafe experience in a cup is mild and balanced with the light roasted robustness, delicate bitterness, and gracing the softer biscuity aromas. So cereal, biscuity, I'm here for it. Um, that is pretty much what Nespresso has to say about Paris. So let's go ahead and taste test. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna make this nice and easy. I've already brewed all three pots and now we're gonna go ahead and taste them. First up is Rio de Janeiro. So remember Nespresso said, let's see. This one is an intensity of nine with herbal sandalwood. This is the one that has thyme, rosemary, and walnut notes. So let's go ahead and taste it and see if we taste any of those things. a little spoon Ooh. all right so it definitely is extremely bold you are tasting that intensity of nine but do I get herbal definitely very herb like yep um I don't get thyme or rosemary and I feel like those are two, two flavors that come through pretty strong, but you definitely get like that herbal, woody kind of taste to it. Walnut, I do get a bit of walnut for sure. So it's a little nutty, very intense, and definitely like herbal taste. As far as the smell goes, just really intense and yes, pretty herbal, but um, I wasn't expecting for it to be this strong. I guess it is an intensity of nine. I'm going to go ahead and mix this one with some milk and ice because that's how I plan on enjoying these pods over the summer. Got some ice. We're going to go ahead and pour Rio on in there. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of milk. And grab a straw. A little mix a mix up. Let's see what we think. Oh, okay. I feel like once you add milk to it, you definitely get more of the walnut note. Like it becomes a lot nuttier, but still pretty intense. I like it. All right, I'm gonna drink some water from my water glass, cleanse my palate a little bit. Let's move on to Istanbul. All right, you guys, same deal. I've got Istanbul. We're gonna go ahead and taste it. Now, according to Nespresso, this one was nutty and balanced. It said uh, ripe fruits and nutty with some almonds. So fruit, nutty, almond. For smell, I'm definitely getting fruit. For sure, for sure getting fruit. Let's taste it. Ooh, that's different. I like it. Not as intense as Istanbul for sure. Um, I think this one was one less intensity, so intensity of eight. Um, but definitely you can smell the fruitiness of it and you can taste the fruitiness of it very fruity not really getting a lot of nut and not getting almond but i hope that the almond will come through with the um, milk added to it so let's see how it tastes iced 
Alrighty, got my pairing. I've got my ice. We're gonna go ahead and add our espresso. And we're gonna add some milk. Let's see. I think that's a good amount. Maybe a little more. Yeah, I think that's good. Grab a straw. And let's see what we think of Istanbul iced. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's nice. So it's kind of like I thought. I thought that the almond would come through with the milk and it does. It doesn't taste terribly fruity to be honest. Ooh, hold on. This is really nice ice. So I'm getting almond, a little fruit, and it's really refreshing. The milk breaks the intensity down a bit, and this would make a really good iced coffee. Yeah, I'm really liking this. Let's go back to Rio. Ooh, now that I'm tasting both now that I'm tasting both of them, you can definitely taste the herbs in Rio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are good. These are good. Let's go ahead and do the final test of Paris. Good. Last up, friends, we are taste testing Paris. Such a beautiful thing. <laughs> and uh, let's see. According to Nespresso, this one cereal, citrus, biscuity. So I'm looking forward to all of that. Intensity of six. So this is the lightest one. So cereal, biscuity, citrus. Definitely smell the citrus. And it smells sweet as well. Sorry, my nose is like all up in this, but let's taste it. Ooh. Okay. I know, that was a weird face to make. It's very citrusy. You know how the fruity pods usually have like that sour kind of aftertaste to it? Definitely getting that with this. I don't know. I don't know about it. Let's add some milk and see what we think. Mm -hmm. That's where did I put it? It's over here. Let's add our Paris pot into there. And we are going to add a little bit of milk. The Parisians love their coffee with milk, hence the latte. <laughs> so this should be good. Give it a little mix up. Mixa, mixa, mixa. That's what Ayrton says. You want to say hi, Ayrton? Sure. Ayrton's coming to say hi. Hurry up, hurry up. Hello. <laughs> say hi again. Hi. You're so handsome. And look at how tall Ayrton is now, guys. Like, oh my God. He's right there. Before you know it, Ayrton, you're going to be taller than me. Uh, yeah. Hi, yeah. At least so. How do you feel about that? feel fine. You feel fine about it? How do you feel about all these changes? Middle school, getting taller? Mm, it's fine. It's fine? Yeah. Why is it fine? Because? Because it's just a part of life. It's a part of life, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a taste before it gets watered down. Paris. Alright, alright. Yeah, all you kind of like Bianca Leggero fans out there, I think y'all are going to like this. Um, what I like about it, once you add the milk, yes, you do get that cereal, you do get that biscuity note. Um, I'm not really getting fruit anymore, which is great because the fruit was a little intense for me. But this would make a great latte. Pretty good latte. And what's nice about it, it's kind of creamy, it's sweet, it's cereal. 
but it's more intense than I thought that it would be for a six. So this is gonna be hard for me to choose like which one I want to use for my special recipe in part two of this video. Drop it in the comments down below. Let me know what would you guys like to see me make a recipe with. Remember, it's going to be a traditional drink to that region. So Paris, Istanbul or Rio. I think it's going to be between Rio and Paris because I truly do love the herbal notes in this. But then for Paris, I really do love how sweet and biscuity it is. So I'll have to play around with these a little bit more and get back to you guys in part two. As always, guys, thank you for stopping by Maison Molly. It's always my pleasure to have you here. Drop it in the comments down below. Let me know, have you tried any of these pots yet? And if you have, what do you think? Of course, guys, if you found added value in this video and you like my taste tests and recipes, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Your girl is like 200 subscribers away from 20K and I'm super excited about it. As always, guys, thank you for hanging with me here on Maison Molly, and I'll see you guys next time.